Hi everybody, Bill1911 here. Well, we're coming up on Thanksgiving, so I wanted to start out by wishing everyone a very happy Thanksgiving. I also thought it might be cool to introduce you to a couple of friends of mine. This is a Remington 700 short action chambered in 308. It's uh, the same basic rifle as what I used back in the day when I was on the SRT unit. Um, it's, it's a really good gun. It's one of those nothing real fancy deals, but I'll tell you what, it's extremely accurate. The heavy barrel on this thing really makes a big difference. Um, it's very, very stable. When you have a slender barrel, you tend to shimmer a little bit because the front end is light. This is extremely stable with all that weight out there you'll get a little bit of swing out of it but it's pretty darn stable there's no shaking with it um, I really enjoy this gun it's it's a lot of fun for shooting at range uh, you start shooting 600 800 yards and this puppy here will flat do the job for you this is another little gun I wanted to feature today on our little Thanksgiving special um, this is an L1A1 it's really a terrific terrific gun it's a civilian model of the M14 rifle that was used in the early parts of the Vietnam War. Uh, it's 20 round box magazine on it and it's just it's a lot of fun to shoot. Uh, it's extremely accurate. Again it fires the same 308 cartridge that, that I happen to have a lot of faith in. Um, out to 500 yards the 308 is one of the most accurate cartridges in existence. From 500 yards on out to 1,000 yards, the 3006 cartridge kind of takes over a little bit from there and does real good work. Now there are a lot of really accurate long distance guns out there. Uh, the 338 is very, very good, 338 Lapua. Um, there are some really fine rounds out there. Um, I, I've got some other big guns around here that uh, I will feature later on. Okay. I've taken the stock off of the uh, L1A because I, I'm having a little bit of trouble with clearance on the stock. It's just a little bit tight in a couple of places. Um, tight is very good in certain ways and other ways it's not. Now the way the rifle fits into the stock is nice and snug and that's what we want. We don't want the action moving around in the stock okay that's that's something we don't want but where I'm having a little bit of trouble in this thing it's going to be hard to see so I'm, bear with me a second while I try and get light on everything so you can see it now right in here on the stock I don't know if you can see where I'm pointing but right in there on the stock you can see a little bit of a rub mark and this rub mark is where the magazine is slipping up into the stock and it's just too tight. Um, it it's just doesn't want to fit through that stock very well at all. So I'm going to have to clearance just a little bit out of here. Now on these polymer stocks quite often you can move parts around a little bit into them and you'll see where it'll put like little scrape marks like it's done here where it's too tight and that's where you're going to have to clearance it out just a little bit. Uh, it's not a big job, it's just something that needs to be done. And I thought I would take care of some of that on Thanksgiving. Okay, we've clearanced some material out of the stock right in here where, where it was rubbing, okay? But what I want to tell you now is very, very important. When you're clearancing a stock, when you're taking material out of this stock, go slow take a little bit, fit it, take a little bit more, fit it until you get the fit you want. I can't stress this enough. Here's the thing, you can always take out a little bit more, but it's real hard to put it back once you've taken it out. So make sure that you go slow and make this a, a fitting process. That's why they call it fitting the stock, because you want to go slow with this and not end up with a, a train wreck.
Alright, so we've clearanced a little of the material out of this stock so that the magazine fits up into the well a little easier. Uh, it's still pretty stiff and I'm going to have to do more on it. But I again wanted to stress, remember when you're taking out material, just take it out a little tiny bit at a time. It's real easy to go too far. So, go slow. Hey. If you've enjoyed this video, if it's been helpful to you and entertaining, please don't forget to hit the like button and by all means subscribe. And when you're done with that, come and visit us at AskBill1911.com. Hi, Bill1911 here. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that's very important to us, and that's your safety. Do not attempt any of the things you see on our videos until you have thoroughly reviewed and understood our safety procedures. Also, if you're under 18 years of age, do not attempt any of these topics without the consent of your parent or guardian. Thank you.